Hey guys, welcome back to Mount Nutters Exotic Animals. I'm out here with my friend, Kevin. And we're gonna do some night herping. Yeah, bro. Dude, I wanna take us. Oh, look at those uh, plantains, bro. <laughs> of course, though. You gotta look at the plantains. Uh. Oh, look at the bird. Look at the bird. It's like a dove or a northern mockingbird. Yeah, there goes a bufo merino cane toad called cane toad because they used to use them for cane fields back in the day. And we're looking at some stuff to flip here. Right, ready? Yep. Go. Nope. Oh, that's another brick to flip. There's bricks on top of bricks. Watch this, guys. That's a small one. It was a, a little Florida iguana. So this is a green iguana, iguana, iguana. They're illegal to collect, keep and breed here in Florida now. Here was a little house gecko. Right here is a nice little house gecko. Yeah, if you want, be careful. There's thorns on these. You got it? Uh, nope. Nope. You'll thorn get the hang of it, way. though. He, the thorn got in my way. Well, yeah, we'll just go throw this guy back here. We got nothing to do with him. Me. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Oh, that's that how you do it. Kermit. Yeah, leopard frog. I don't know what else to do with these other than just grab them and. Hold up, hold up, wait, wait. Oh, you want to take a picture? But you see, you got to grab them and hold them by their legs. Yeah, because they'll, they'll get away. Out, right? Yeah, well, that's how you catch a leopard frog. We got a female night in all here. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Don't, don't, don't stunk it. Don't fumble the bag. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Well. That is a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful female equestrious. He's gonna try biting I think I'm going to keep her. Grab it, bro. You grab it. Yeah. Grab it. Just grab it. Just grab it. Don't even think about it. Just grab it. Grab it. Don't be slow. Okay, there we go. He's asleep. That's why I grabbed this. Yeah. Asleep. All right, here we go. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's go. Ah, missed it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. 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 There you go, brother. There you fucking go. I'm gonna use. Alright, go. Oh, you gotta wait. Hey, dude. Oh, but here we go. Very beautiful young male. They have these feet right here. And if you see, they have flaps. And in those flaps, it creates a little air bubble. So when they run on top of water at a certain speed, they're actually able to use that air bubble to be slightly buoyant within the time frame that they're able to um, put their foot on the water and take it off and actually run on top of water for a short period of time. And they also are very great swimmers. And as you can see, they have these beautiful crests down the back and on the head some other species actually get full-on sails going down actual full crests on the whole body going through the tail which is very neat but the males always have this head crest which is also very nice so yeah beautiful male brown basilisk or common basilisk very very nice Oh, 
Nice little green and all here. Little female. She's probably gravid. Get her. Nice. So nice. You gonna hold it? She's really nice. That's some nice light blue banding right here. The light is too bright for the camera. Let me see. There, see you. there you go. That's beautiful. Yeah, there we go. So, as you can see, she has some light blue banding here. She's most likely gravid. She probably has an egg in there. Most giant anoles will lay, um, I think, one egg per every week for, I think, like 20, 20 to 24 weeks and then stop laying. As you can see, this female is a beautiful specimen. She's big happy fat living out here thriving and as you can see she's pretty big right here you can see her belly is very distended oh there we go see the teeth on it yeah they have a they have some gnarly teeth if you look right here you see some of the teeth right there but yeah she's a very nice light green and has some baby blue bars and blushing on her she's very nice beautiful example of a Cuban night and all the most equestrious these guys are actually uh, a, like two different subspecies actually uh, inbred to each other but um yeah it, it's it's crazy anoles are very crazy because she, she's starting to get some darker colors she's starting to get really stressed out from us grabbing her but we're gonna go ahead and throw her back and yeah it's pretty cool Cuban night and all guys one of my favorite and specialty uh, reptiles to catch out here in South Florida. Here we go. Making a tree. You can reach that? Right there. There goes a super gravid female brown and all. Super gravid. Dude, look at how many eggs she probably has. She probably got at like, like, probably like eight. Yeah, she's super red. She's super red and orange. I never really seen that. That's super cool. You see that, Kevin? See how orange and red that thing is? Oh, that's nice. It's shedding. That's right. Look at the look at the skin color right here. It's switching. Maybe it is shedding. That's super interesting that it's like it's a different color. Gray. Yeah, gray. and that's a very gravid female basilisk. Very gravid female. I'm gonna throw her back. Let her get back to the <laughs> And then the, there goes a baby green and all. Oh, she just ran across the water. Yeah, she did. Sucks we couldn't get that on camera. She just ran across the water right here. Wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. Wait, 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 wait. wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. Wait. Right there in front of you, right there in front of you. Okay. Right there. Hold on. Nice shit. There we go. That's a nice beastie male Cuban idanol right there, guys. Beautiful. Yeah. You can tell it's a male by these hemipeno bulges right here. And how big his head is. Just look at how beefy this thing is. And what's cool about the Cuban idanols and most other uh, giant anole species or crown giant species like this, they have the largest toe pads. Some of the largest toe pads for their size. 
And that's because when they're found in the wild, they're found in these trees and some of these trees go 50, 60 feet in the air sometimes. And big males like these, typically in a bigger tree, they will be hanging all the way up towards the top because that's why they're called crown giant and oaks. They're found at the crown top of the canopy. Occasionally you can find them in these bushes and all that stuff. There's exceptions. There's always gonna be exceptions, but these lizards have these big toe pads so that when they fall, like what just happened, they grab onto other branches and other leaves quite easily. And not only do they have these big toe pads that you're seeing here, these big toe pads, and they have a thousand little hairs in those toe pads. They also have these hooked, hooked little nails and claws that grip onto anything. I mean, look at it, it's gripping on my finger right now. And that goes into your skin. So these guys are perfectly adapted and equipped with everything they need to live in the canopy, which is very, very nice. Beautiful Cuban night and all. Um, yeah. And it seems like that white banding here turns blue. She has some blues on her face, nothing too crazy. And then that, that light gray tail. Here, you wanna, so I can show it a little bit better. My friend Kevin's out here, night herping. He's been wanting to come out and do this, so he's dragged me out and here we go. Look at that. And you see that kind of white line that they get on their bellies that some of the females here get. I wonder what that's about. Nothing too crazy though. But yeah, this is just a nice little baby Cuban night and all. With a beautiful blue, bluish blushed you. head. And then, yeah. So this is a baby of what we've been catching tonight pretty nice to show you guys very very neat